Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost, you're watching Frost Park Bass, and tonight I'm super excited and a little bit nervous because I'm going to Star Wars night. Star Wars night here at Disneyland. And I'm a big Star Wars fan, and this is what makes me a little bit intimidated. I feel like I'm a massive Star Wars fan, but I'm not really because compared to everybody else, they're like the hardest core Star Wars fans. I've seen all the movies so many times. I've loved them and I know everything about them and all the trivia. But tonight is gonna be super special for me because I'm gonna go in to Star Wars night at Disneyland and I'm just gonna enjoy it and just kind of like breathe it in and take in all of it and you just kind of bathe in the amazingness of Star Wars night. This will be my first time ever doing something like this and I'm excited, a little bit nervous. Let's check it out. Star Wars night technically starts at nine o'clock. It's an after hours event ticket. You have to buy a ticket. They allow you in the park three hours early. So you, you can actually go in the park at six o'clock with that after hours ticket. And then the party starts at nine and goes from nine until one in the morning. And I'm here, it's about 6.30. I'm just gonna go into Disneyland and get all situated and check in and then uh, enjoy this tonight. Here we go, the special event tickets, Star Wars night. All right, I just checked in, I gotta get a wristband. Yes. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much. No problem. Now they have maps and lanyards. Let's get a map and a lanyard. Oh my God, Chrissy. Oh my God, <laughs> All right, so I checked in, here I am. I'm kind of a little bit sad because Amanda's not here. She's, well, Miles is in school, so. But here I am, they give you a lanyard. You can see what lanyard right there. And then, wah, wah, wah. And then of course I got my map and I have all these different activities going on. I'm so excited about Now, let me kind of explain something how this kind of works. So if you are going to, like, if you're going to an after hours event, you have to go through, you have to check in. But let's say you made a whole day of, let's say you came here for, you were enjoying Disneyland for the whole day. If you're enjoying Disneyland for the whole day, you could go to like the Starcade, where the Starcade is by uh, Space Mountain, and you could check in for the event there. That way you don't have to leave the park. Or if you're just coming here for Star Wars night, you come in that special event right there, door, and they're gonna give you your lanyard. You have to have this because if you don't have a lanyard, they won't let you through the park. The park's going to close at eight o'clock. Then at nine o'clock, all the festivities and activities start. So I'm, I'm here quite a bit early. So I'm just gonna kind of relax for a little bit. And then once the activities start, I'm gonna show you. There's gonna be a lot of people bounding and cosplaying, Star Wars stuff, and this, I'm excited. And I have to say this, I wanna know down in the comments down below, and be honest, be honest, are you more the light side or dark side? And I'm talking kind of the original trilogy. When I think about the original trilogy, Darth Vader was so scary to me as, as a child, but I thought he was so cool. I was like, he scared me, but I was attracted to it. Scared, but attracted to it. Darth Vader, I love Darth Vader, and the Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna go tonight, because I saw they have a thing you to choose. I'm gonna choose the dark side tonight, where almost I always choose the light side, because I like to be a good person, but tonight, let's do the dark side. I just met the coolest cast member and I have to show you what he did for me. He's like, so you're going to Star Wars night? I'm like, yes. And he's like, oh, he wrote my, that's how you say Chris. I think it's called Arabesh. That's the Star Wars language. That's, isn't that, how, isn't that amazing? Ah! Chris. All right, the next time I come back or turn the camera back on, Star Wars night is gonna be started. But I just wanna say this, for those of you who are attending, uh, attending a, like a after hours event, it's impossible to do everything. So you really wanna focus. There, all the rides are open, the attractions are open. So if you wanna just jam rides, you can do that. Most people don't. So most people are interested, interested in other things because they could ride rides other times. But there are some people, that's the whole reason they come to these after hours events because they just wanna jam rides. Look at the castle, you barely see it. It looks absolutely gorgeous and look at Matterhorn. Beautiful, beautiful. But there are special food things going on. You get special food items. And there's also photo ops and special little activities to do. You kind of have to choose the ones that you want to do because you're not going to be able to get them all in because there's, there's just not enough time. So if you're focused on rides, you're definitely not going to get these other things. But if you want to try to get as many um, like food items or uh, special like photo ops, then you won't get onto as many attractions. Hi, how are you? Now, real quickly, I'm going to show you the food items. And then it's going to be time for Star Wars Night to start. This is called Taste from Around the Galaxy, and these are the different items that they have. You guys can like kind of pause it if you want to see what they have, but these are different items, especially here for Star Wars Night. There are different lands, have different items, so you gotta choose what you want to see. What looks good to you? Hey, here's a map of the event. This is what's been going on here at Star Wars. Look at all, this. Look at all these different things going on. I can't even handle this. Lots going on. Look at all this cool stuff. I want to go down here because I think that was it. Uh, what's, 
the, oh, what's it called? Uh, Dan Figaro, the b band from uh, the Star Wars Canteen is going to be playing. I want to see them. They're playing right there. I think they're moving. Like one, That's one of the thrones that they get to sit on. I mean, it's a Boba Fett throne. They're getting it ready. They're just willing it down the middle of the street. All right, next time we turn on, we'll be starting. But I had to show that. Hey, everybody. Guess what? It's about time to get started. It's 8 o'clock. I am in Batu because I figured this would be the perfect place to start Star Wars night. It's going to show you some food, show you character interactions. My biggest thing I'm trying to do is do... Uh, character meets meet and greets and I also want it hi guys and I also want to get show you all the coolest photo ops that I can get let's do this let's start here we are Star Wars night <laughs> dun, 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 dun. sounds like the ship is taking off there we go So I just ran to my friend Jimmy, who's also here, and he got some food already. This is the blue milk, which is a normal thing, but for Star Wars night, they've added gorg balls to it. Is Boba? I think so, yeah. Jimmy? Yeah. Starting off on the... Jimmy's all about the food tonight. Cheers. Cheers. How is it? Mmm. Obviously, it's blue milk, if you're unfamiliar with that. Um, it's like rice milk, right? Yeah. Just kind of like that. Got a little bit of sweetness to it. You need a boba straw, I think. I know I need a boba straw. You don't need a boba straw. You need a... Boba Fett straw. Ah, <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, so people always ask, right, how they do these after hours party, how they clear out the park. Well, what happens is you come in, they give you like a lanyard, a little pass like this. You have to wear this pass. And then they're gonna have all these different uh, Disney cast members standing at the entrances and the stores. In order to go in the entrance or a store, you have to show your pass. If you don't have it, they won't allow you in the store. They won't allow you in the land. They kind of funnel everybody out. So technically, you could just stand here and not have a pass, but you couldn't do it. You couldn't buy anything. You couldn't go in any stores. Everything is just funneling out. So that's why you have to have these passes for after hours. I'm following Jimmy. He is going into the Red Rose Tavern because he's also picking up some other food here. He's on the whole food blog. So I'm going to see what's, what he's getting here. Now, technically, it's eight. It's just a little bit past eight o'clock. So the night hasn't technically started yet, but it's started for food, which is important because if the food's the most important thing. The food does sell out. So people are, who are interested in the food, they're picking, start picking up their food orders at eight o'clock. Like Jimmy's went through and he ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Hi, Jimmy, are you? what do you got? What do you have? What is this? Hi, called? this is the, I believe the 1313 loaded fries, nacho 13, thing. 1313 so I have to double check the okay. nap thing. Yeah. And, but, is, and so, with the blue milk, but I got that separately, obviously. Before. Yeah, you got it separate. So Jimmy was saying that this is the food sells out, so he's like starting right off the bat. Yeah. He's going to get tons of food. Yeah. And uh, so the food does technically the party doesn't start till eight at nine o'clock, but it's a little past eight. We were I started by two, and now we're off to do um, to get some food for him. And then I when I'm done with this, I'm going to start going. I want to see Dan. Was it was what's the figure in Dan and the modals? I guess that's that's really important to me. Yep. Yep, um, by the way, so this- What's it called? So it's called the 1313 Loaded Bowl. All right. Yes, and then also, did you want me to fact check your figure and dance? Oh yeah, yeah, sure, fact check me. that, yeah. Figure and Dan and the modal nose. Yeah, yeah, there we go, that's that's the, the most important nodes. one. The modal nose, yeah. Okay, so I don't really know how to do this because they have a lightsaber instruction right at nine o'clock in your fancy land, but then they have March of the First Order at 9.05 in Tomorrowland. That's, I kind of want to see the March of the First Order. I'm going to be doing more of the dark side stuff, so I'm going to head over to Fantasyland and start, I mean, Tomorrowland and start there. Okay, it's 8.30. Technically, the party doesn't start for another half hour, but look, the rides are open for the late night. Like, nobody's in line. I'm going to go do Toads, just because I can. Check this out. Uh, Welcome to Toad Hall. I'm going to... <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's nobody here. Let's go do this. I love Mr. Toad. Just walk right on. Ready? Thank you so much. Now I'm going to show you a hidden Mickey. It's really hard to see. And then we're going to get back to Star Wars stuff. Ready? We go through the library. We're gonna turn, go through the fireplace, and then right here on this door, there's a hidden Mickey, right there on the door. I don't know if you were able to see that, it went kind of fast, and that's that. All right, so I'm gonna show you something else so it's kind of fun. Whoa. There is Sherlock Holmes right here in the window. You see his profile in the window? And this is where the story gets weird. In the book, this doesn't happen. The Disney Imagineers just did this. They send you to 
you get a train accident and you end up going to the dark underworld. <laughs> and now I go to what they call the inferno room. This does not happen in the story at all. And why do they, Disney Imagineers want to do this? Because they thought it was funny. And that's the end of the attraction. All right, you guys, we can do Snow White. Nobody's in Snow White. Let's do that. We still got plenty of time. All right, I think that after this, then I'm gonna head over to Tomorrowland. So I wanna see the March of the First Order. And there's just too much to do, guys. There's too much to do. This is crazy. Nobody's here in line. Peter Pan's still a little crowded though. Because, you know, it's Peter Pan. See, there they are, there's Snow White dancing. Oh, I love it. And here we go in. Fun little trip of, tip about this. When this movie, this ride first opened up, there was no Snow White at all. It was designed that you were supposed to be Snow White, but people complained, they're like, we wanna see Snow White, so they added her in. You still kinda get that vibe though as you're going through that you're supposed to be Snow White seeing what she would've seen in her adventure. Coming up, I think we're gonna see one of the very best effects I've ever seen in any dark ride. This right here, when she switches around, I love it. It's so good. Oh, I love it. And here we go. There we go. There's Snow White and the Little Prince. <laughs> and that is the end of the ride. All right, so it's only 8.35. So I'm gonna walk by Alice in Wonderland. If that's open, I'll do that. Then head over to watch uh, the March of the First Order. All right, there was a little bit of a line for Alice in Wonderland and I was gonna wait, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna head over because I wanna be right there when that March of the First Order happens. So I'm heading over to Tomorrowland. So this is one of the photo ops. You can ride the speeder bikes, but it doesn't open till nine. It's not, not 10 or so minutes. Okay, I'm right here by the Star Wars Launch Bay, guys. They just announced that it's, it's just turned nine o'clock. This uh, parade should be starting here in about four minutes. I'm excited. I've been told this is a good spot. You guys, Darth Vader just popped up. Holy cow, I can't even handle this. Oh, there's Darth Maul. This is amazing. Now I'm standing behind it because I want to get the parade behind me, but it happens to be a good little shot of it. So they kind of have like a photo op. You just get to walk by in front of them and get a photo op. There's Darth Maul and there's Darth Vader. All right, I hear some sound. I think it means that it's about to start. You can hear that? It's like their landing craft. Oh, there they go. Look, they're running. This is good. We were informed there was a threat to the first order in this area. We're moving out now. This is awesome. Oh. Advance. I love the stormtrooper so much. I love it. This is like a dream come true for me, guys. I love stormtroopers. I think they're so cool. They look so sleek. I just love it. Oh, they're coming down. This is exciting. There they go. You can see the whole crowd is lined up to see them. And they're walking through. Oh, it's all lit up and dark for Sith colors, guys. And they just marked right down there. That was amazing. Right. Guys, this is awesome. Here's how this works. 
I talk, you listen. If you might consider supporting the resistance, I have some advice. Don't. Show me fearless. We do not tolerate traitors, nor those who hide them. Battle starts. It will not be easy to crush the resistance, but it will be satisfying. Upsilon class shuttle pursuer to Captain Phasma. Orders from General Hux. Return to base immediately. At attention. Patrol unit, return to base. Move! Oh, I'm so happy. So I've been told that this is more of a Sith side here at Tomorrowland. I love it. I'm having a great time. That was amazing to see that. Now I'm going to head down to Rivers America because I really want to see the uh, Cantina Band. Let's go do that next. I am not sure. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. It's all like look at this like they're um oh i think they had a dj up here going and music's going they got the red lights for the sith side then they got blue lights for the light side so it's perfect whatever side you like more i guess you're going to be represented in like it here light or dark light or dark oh my gosh check it out here we go You guys, I'm in Adventureland. Look, there's the Jawas. It was an R2-D5, I think. Holy cow. So tempted to get in line to get a picture of the Jawas, but I really want to see the Cantina Band. That's the one thing I, I want to see. And by the way, I'm like right here in Adventureland, uh, Indiana Jones, 15 minute wait. So if you want to do rides, this is something you can come do. Like, nobody's here. But I got to see this Cantina Band. That's all I... It's very important to me. I'll tell you why at the end of this video, if I remember, I'll tell you why this is such an important thing to me. I, I think I missed it because it's too much. I was at the, the, the forest, wait, what was it? I can't, I'm getting so confused, but I think I missed it. So I'm gonna have to try and come back to see them because I really want to see them so bad. I just walked by Pirates Caribbean. So I'm gonna go back to Main Street and it was five minute wait. Oh. All right, let's go to Main Street. There goes the Chawas right there. Oh my gosh, they just walked right and by. Oh my gosh, can't even handle this. The cutest things ever. Look at that castle. Red and blue. Oh my gosh, light side, dark side on the castle. Oh, look at that castle, guys. It looks so good. It looks so good. That castle looks absolutely stellar. I love it. The red and blue, Sith and light side. This is kind of tripping me out. They have all this techno music playing. And I'm on Main Street. You notice this side over here is lit up for blue. This side is for red. Sith and, and light side. Rebels and Sith. Oh, but it looks so cool. Oh, look right over there. Oh, look, 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 look over the wall. They've got all the, they got the Empire signals all over the wall. Empire. Let's turn around so you can see the rebel side. Yes. Woo! Love it. Okay, guys, I'm down here. Look at this. They got this lining, this right over here. You can line up for like the rebel side. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's go. But let's, but let's, not, let's be honest. Let's not kid around. We want to go see if they have the Empire. I'm sure they do. Let's go check it out over here. You know that. Oh. Dang it, that looks amazing. That looks so good. I gotta get a photo with that. Now, interestingly enough, the dark side has a longer line. What does that say? I don't know, what does that say? 
So I'm next to get my photo. And they have like a little table where you set your stuff there where you go to get your photo. The photos are included. So you get unlimited, like you go and get these photo passes. They're included for the night. I'm gonna go get my photo right now. Let's go do this. Woo! Got the dark side. I feel like I should go get the light side too, just to balance it out. Let's go do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go over here and get in line for the uh, light side. It's so interesting because it's not a lot of people down here and it's just so cool looking. I'm really, really enjoying tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Okay, I'm next to get my photo taken. I'm excited. Okay, here I go. I'm next, I'm excited. All right, I got the pictures. I'm now gonna head down and try to see if I can see that band and I don't know what I'm doing, guys. People are so organized and see all these things. I'm just literally having so much fun. And uh, I have all these thoughts going through my mind I wanna share with you, but I, uh, I might get a little emotional because it just means so much to me, but we'll see. Look how cool that looks. I can't even handle this. So like every uh, 35 minutes or so, the DJ, you could go on, they have these, um, uh, it's like a Santa Claus. You can vote for the light side or dark side, right? Through a QR code. And every once in a while he announces who's winning. So far the dark side is winning. Oh my gosh, I thought I missed him, but there they are. Huh? I'm gonna have to go down there to see them play. I can't even handle this. <laughs> Best band in the galaxy, guys. Best band in the galaxy. <laughs> You're having fun. They should be back in one hour. I just missed them again because I was doing a photo op, but I had to, I had to, I had to, I gotta see them. There is a massive line here. You might be thinking, what is this line for? It's for the Ewoks, so that people come down and meet the Ewoks. There they are, the Ewoks. Which reminds me, how did Han Solo get around the moon of Endor? He walked it. <laughs> So I have a fun story I just wanted to talk about real quickly. I MC uh, comic conventions around the country. And uh, I was just in Indiana, the Indiana Comic Convention. They had Hayden Christensen and Rosario Dawson. And they requested for me to be the moderator. They actually asked me to be their moderator, which I was, that was very humbling. But I told that joke about Hansel and he walked it on the stage. And Hayden Christensen actually started laughing. And he's like, that's amazing. And Rosario Dawson just is like, which is a perfect response. <laughs> Just walked by Rise of Resistance. It is a 25 minute wait or so. That's crazy. So there's the Mandalorian. So I'm coming down here because I want to see C-3PO because this is the only time you see C-3PO. And here he is, guys. I want to, I want to interact with him. Is there a C-3PO? Oh, there's C-3PO. It's so good to see you. It's a pleasure. By the way, do you know what you call a droid that takes a long way home? R R2 Detour. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, C-3PO. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey, guys. How are you? It's good to see you. C-3PO. Okay, so I'm in Docking Bay 7 in Batu, this is uh, C-3PO. And I'm gonna tell you a little story here. And this is just me yammering on. You can skip ahead in this video if you don't wanna watch this part. But Star Wars means so much to me. And the reason it does is my mom, and whom I love very much, is a big Star Wars fan. And she took me to see Star Wars when I was very little. And I was sitting right next to her and it, my mind just couldn't handle it. it just like, and right as the, the lasers start flying, my mom says I stood up in the movie theater and yelled, what is going on? And then I s climbed on my mom's lap and I put both my hands on her cheeks. And I was like, and I literally was holding my mom's face the entire time I was watching Star Wars. And that memory of C-3PO and R2-D2 going across the Corellian Corvette when all the laser bolts are flying and they're going, they get through all the stormtroopers. That's one of my very first memories that I've ever had in my life. I actually told that story 
to Anthony Daniels who plays C3PO. And when I told that story, he's like, are you kidding me? He's like, you, he's like, we gotta get a photo together. I'm your first memory. And so it was a, it was a, it's, it was wonderful. A couple years later, they re-released Star Wars again. <laughs> and my mom took me to see it again on a school night. And we went to see it and we watched the movie Star Wars. And when it was done, we just sat in our seats. And I was like, are we, I thought we'd get ready to go. And my mom's like, my mom's favorite part of the movie is the cantina scene in Star Wars. And she loves the little band that plays. And she loves all the aliens. And when the guy was coming in to clean out the theater for the next showing, she asked him, she goes, is it sold out? Is it not going to stay? He's like, no, it's not even sold out. You can stay. <laughs> and this is before they had like assigned seatings or whatever. And my mom told me, she's like, we're just going to stay and watch up to the cantina. And watch the cantina scene again on a school night. Right? So we watched Star Wars once. The movie started again. We watched it. We got to the cantina scene. And I thought, are we going to leave? We did it. We sat there and we watched it again all the way to the end of it. And I remember going to school the next day. I'm like, I watched Star Wars twice. Anyways, I feel blessed and I just want to take a quick moment to talk to you guys. I know that um, I'm, my mom, if you're watching this, I love you, mom. I think I'm very blessed to have you as my mother. And I know that there's some people out there who maybe have lost their mom or dad, that they passed, or maybe you do have a loved one who's passed. And if you do, there's a hole in your heart, and it's so hard. You don't, that's grief. And they've left a hole in your heart because they held a special spot in your heart. And you don't ever have to fill that up with something else. Just know that that's a signal of love that you have for that person. And if you have had that terrible loss in your life, I want you to know that. I understand, and I think you're amazing, and you are awesome, and life is sweet, and don't forget that. And that's why Star Wars means so much to me because my mom introduced it to me when I was very little. That's why I want to see that band so bad to play because that's my mom's favorite. All right, all right. Let's continue on. All right, there's Star Wars Land. Batu. All right, but they have this thing. If you're a magic key holder, you can go into Toontown. They don't have any Star Wars stuff there, but if you are a key holder, you go into Toontown, they have a little special something for you. I thought I might do that, but I cannot miss uh, the Star Wars Cantina band. I've already missed them twice, and I'm really worried about it. And they don't play very long, so I'm gonna go over there, and if I start getting too late, I'm just gonna stop what I'm doing and head over to watch them play. But let's go to Toontown. All right, why do we love Star Wars so much? I've thought about this a lot. And for those of you who don't know, I um, go around, I travel around the country into different comic conventions, and I MC them. I am fortunate enough, I've met a lot of the, the actors in Star Wars, and it's fun to see I've met Mark Hamill, I've met Carrie Fisher, Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca, David Krause, Darth Vader, um, Anthony Daniels, C-3PO, um, from the original trilogy, and, and it's just, they're awesome, right? But, oh, hi, how are you? But why do we like Star Wars so much? And I, I've thought about this a lot. This is just my opinion. You guys put down comments down below if you agree or disagree, or tell me your theories. I think the reason we all can relate to it, doesn't matter if you're a religious person or what religion you belong to or whatever, it's the fact that we believe that there's like a force of good and a force of bad. So hi, how are you? All right, so I think that we can relate to the bad, the conflict of good versus evil. Hi guys, how are you? How you do? I think we also can relate to like the struggle, like, you know, like trying to do something, like that's the thing about like Luke Skywalker is such a good character because, you know, he was thrust into these things and just an average person, but he became great. And I think it's what we all kind of have a secret desire. We all want to become great. And I think we all have the ability to, to become great. And also like Han Solo was so cool, like a scoundrel. And Princess Leia was just beautiful and fun and, and strong and just awesome. And I think we can just identify with those characters so well. And Darth Vader was just like the epitome of bad, right? He was like just a bad character. And it was easy to be afraid of him and, and like root against him because he just was just like a bad character, which it makes it easy to root against him, but also kind of love him. So Star Wars is just awesome. I just, I think we all love it. I mean, as you see, there's so many people here. We all love it because it means so much to us and everybody, it means something a little bit different. All right, I'm headed to Toontown where there is no Star Wars. Come and see what they do for Magic Key. Let's check it out. You'll notice that it's small world's got a little red and blue on it. Entering into Toontown. And like when I was a kid, Star Wars is so important to me. Like I, I played Star Wars with my friends. Like we had we had the um, action figures. 
we didn't keep them clean and pristine. We played with them hard. I remember one time we built all these caves out of sand and we put all the action figures in it and my one neighbor got gasoline and we poured it in and we threw a match and we burned them and we thought it was so cool. It was good memories. But if you're watching this and you're a child, don't do that. That was the wrong thing to do. All right, this is Magic Key Entrance. Let's check it out. We're in Mickey's house on Star Wars night, but why not? Let's check it out. Here we are in the Mickey's house. We're going to the Mickey's movie barn. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. So what did we get? We, get this, we got a little, looks like a patch. It's a Star Wars patch. Yeah, they give us like a little Star Wars patch. Okay, now I've got to, that was, this is cool. But I've got to go back to, all the way to Rivers of America because I have to catch the Cantina band playing. I cannot miss them again. Now you might be wondering, what are they going to be doing here? They're going to be doing a training for Jedi to teach them how to use their lightsabers. How fun is that? There's a stage right there, and then the person will get up there and teach them how to use it. Well, there they go. All of you, it's here to teach them how to do lightsabers. We've got some weapons of choice in our hands. I like that. Now, I don't know about you, but the dark side. Woo! Okay, we're gonna have to keep our eyes on all of you. And let's hear some love for the light side, everybody. Woo! Fan. You guys, I would love to stay and watch that, but I have got, that's the problem with these parties. There's too much to do. You can't do it all. I've got to get to the, the cantina band. All right, so if you look, you see it's not, I mean, it's really not that crowded. It's interesting. There's like Dumbo says so five minute wait. Teacups only had like three people on it. It's not crowded at all. Mr. Toads is still a walk on. I'm assuming Peter Pan's got a little bit of a weight though. And there's Peter Pan, well, a little bit of weight. That's not that bad for Peter Pan. But look at the back of the castle. Oh, that is so, so cool. Now, I told you my memories of Star Wars. If you would like to put your memory of Star Wars down below, in the comments down below, I would love to read them. And I just want to say this. If your comment gets a little heart, a little red heart, the only person that can do that is me. That means I read your comment, I loved it, and I hearted it. So go ahead and share your Star Wars memories if you want to, down below in the comment section. I would love to read your Star Wars memories. Everywhere you walk, there are people with lightsabers. Mom, if you're watching, thank you for introducing me to Star Wars. And this is for you, because I know that you love these guys. Gosh, that was fast. There's like, they booked it right on by. That was it. <laughs> Glad I caught him. All right, a question that Amanda and I get asked a lot, right? Is it worth it to do these after hours events? We've done a lot of them. It's my first time doing Star Wars, but we've done a lot of them. Is it worth it? I say yes, but I think you get out of it what you put into it. Now keep in mind, like if you want to do rides, these things, these events are crazy awesome because you're going to be doing lots of rides and have no weight. But you're not going to be able to do everything. So if you want to just do all the food, then you're going to have to focus on food. You're going to probably not get a lot of the photo ops or meet the characters. But if you want to meet the characters, you might not get the food. So some people are like, I, I, they feel frustrated because they can't do it all. I like that. That means you got to pick and choose what you really want to do, what's important to you. So I think that's really awesome. I think what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. I've never come to an after hours party and been really disappointed. I always come and have a really good time with it. I think it's super fun. So that's just my opinion on it. On, on my thoughts on it. Oh, look guys, nobody's shooting a gun at Star Wars night. Nobody wants to fire these guns. That's too bad, these are kind of fun. There is so much to do, but I'm gonna say this. I'm hungry. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get some Star Wars sliders. Let's try that, let's try that. You guys, check this out. It's a parade, you could be a part of the parade if you want to. There they go, there's Mickey Mouse right in the front seat and Minnie Mouse, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there they are. And look at this parade, there they go. How cool is that? 
They're taking everybody up here who's got lightsabers and do a big photo op with anybody who wants to be a part of it right here in the front. So cool. You guys, check this out. It's amazing. We have some friends directing. I'm also happy to. Minnie and Mickey are going to join them. Wonderful. Last opportunity. So go ahead and actually squeeze over there where you were. Just scooch over All right. We have. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, is my friend Baby back? Yes. What, Baby? She's telling me the right hand side to squeeze in here. All my friends over here. Yeah. Can we all meet yeah. Baby? She's going to get away. Baby, am I she is. If you can see her, she's about 50 or so feet. Okay, we're going to push in the left side. Momentarily, this is going to be All right, I'm going into Tomorrowland. As you can see, there's like hardly, I mean, there's like, it's, it's just not crowded. In fact, Star Wars, not everybody who has been to Star Wars Nights before have told me that this is not crowded at all. Star Wars, it's not sold out. Star Wars Nights, any, uh, every night they have Star Wars Night in May, it is not sold out. I'm sorry, but, 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 that's not true. Any Star Wars night that they have in April, so far it's not sold out. Though there's a couple in May that are sold out. So if it's something you want to do, you can definitely check it out. But I'm really enjoying myself. So they have like a photo up there. It looks like with Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. I'm see if I can zoom in. Oh, can I see Princess Leia there? And Luke, there's Luke over there. I can't help it. I'm a sucker for it. They have Darth Vader out and Darth Maul. I'm gonna walk by. I want to see him. <laughs> I noticed that most people walking through, they're selfing it up like this, hand back around. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna get a good, amazing shot for you guys. Let's check it out. There he is. Oh my gosh, he looks so menacing. Do you know where he got his lightsaber at? The Darth Maul. <laughs> Everything was half off. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is the time for that type of humor. And those are my favorite, my stormtroopers. Oh yes, I love it. The stormtroopers I love. I always have been my favorite since I was little. I think they're, they look so, oh yes. Always they look so good. And there's Vader. Oh my gosh, he looks, <laughs> moving on. Look at that, it's not making me happy. Did you see the stormtrooper? Yeah, this this makes me happy to see that stuff. All right, I'm gonna try to get some uh, Star Wars sliders. That's what I'm gonna get is the duel of the sliders. And I'm also gonna get the Dagobah swamp water. But I've been told that those dark nebula salsa verde fries are awesome. I ended up getting the uh, nebula fries because they the, co the customer says that these are awesome. So I'm gonna try that. They've got avocado, they've got spice, they've got cris uh, crinkle with the uh, waffle fries, a little pulled pork on it, and then swamp dig about swamp water. I feel like I'm getting a private little show here. It's awesome. It was awesome. A little spicy. A little bit of kick, but I loved it. He dispensed with the pleasantries. Impressive. Most impressive. That's my favorite line for Star Wars. Impressive. Most impressive. You, you guys look. There's the Emperor Palpatine and his royal guard. Whoa. He's just up there observing. He feels creepy. There he comes over to Taco's guard. Oh, there he is. Wow. Look at that. There's no line for Astro Orbiters at all. Star Wars, Star Tours is five minutes and Buzz Lightyear also said five minutes. And there they are, the DJs playing music and they're dancing. I'm gonna go down Main Street and give you my recap of my thoughts of Star Wars Nights. I have some thoughts. I love the lighting here. All right, it's just a little bit past midnight. Okay, so it's just a little bit past midnight. 
there's another, it goes for another hour. Quite a few people are leaving, I'm leaving. Um, and but there's still, you can still go for about another hour. It was awesome. Here are my thoughts. I have lots of thoughts on this. Is it worth it? Yes, I think it's definitely worth it. I'll tell you what's not important to me. Food, food's not as important to me. Now I know a lot of people really enjoy that. I saw tons of people vlogging food, things like that. And I know that's important to a lot of people. For me, the food was not as important. And the food that I did see and, and ate, I thought it was good. I didn't, it was, it didn't knock my socks off. I thought it was okay. So knowing what I know, I would um, eat a lot of food before I came here. I wouldn't waste my time um, getting uh, food. Thank you. I, wouldn't, I would just eat before I came here. That way you can spend most of your time writing attractions or doing character meet and greets. Character meet and greets is my favorite thing to do. And the photo ops is really awesome. But that way you can do all of that and not have to worry and slow down to go get some food. That's would be my first thought on that. My other thought is it goes for, it went from nine to one in the morning. Drink uh, soda pop or caffeine or was it coffee or like take some naps. That way you have all the energy in the world to spend because you might get a little bit tired. You don't want to slow down and you have to sit down. You want to just go, 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 go. And get as much done as you possibly can. You can arrive early, drive up to three hours before the event. So uh, like the event started at nine, you actually get in at six o'clock with your special event ticket. I would come early, get the map and plot out your course before the night gets started. That way you know exactly what it is that you want to do to maximize your time. You guys are awesome. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, you. Oh, would you mind uh, hitting that subscribe button? That's my small ask for you. Uh, you guys are awesome. We have a whole bunch of more videos coming out. We'll be here doing Pixar Fest, show you all about Pixar Fest. We've got some cool things I'll be showing you. So don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. We've got some uh, Universal Studios stuff to show you. We've got Disney, just tons of stuff. And we're gonna be making a huge, massive announcement on our channel here at the beginning of May. You wanna be subscribed for that because this will be one of the biggest endeavors that we've ever taken on here at our channel. We haven't announced it yet, but we're gonna be announcing it around the beginning of May so you guys can hear about this amazing thing that we're gonna be doing. It's never been done before. <sighs> and I'm a little bit nervous. I hope I can pull it off. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. You are amazing. Bye-bye. Star Wars night. Do, 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 was amazing and I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun and I saw some really cool things and saw some really cool characters. The food was okay, but the characters were amazing and the cantina band was the best.